Okay, hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now, this video is going to be my top five baby gadgets and this is going to be part of like a little series that I'm going to be filming. Um, I'm going to be filming like my top five items of like a certain topic and things like that. So this week we've got top five gadgets and the next video will be top five weaning tools. So look out for that. So I just thought as I'm pregnant now and I've obviously gone through it all with Arlo before, I have a good idea idea of what I'd like to carry on using for baby number two and what I won't bother using so I thought I will sit down film this video tell you all my top five gadgets that I have found are really really useful and helpful for having a baby this video will be quite nice and informative for anyone who is looking to get some of the gadgets that I'm about to talk about um, so yeah carry on watching and you'll find out what I think are really really useful if anyone has any suggestions about baby items and their favourite ones, do let me know in the comments below as I am always open to trying new things and yeah I just I just thought these are the things that I really sort of enjoyed using with Arlet and they're things that I've, I still use now so I think they're really really important um, to have for a newborn and also having a baby just in general. So the first item that I'm going to start with is one that I used before giving birth to Arlo. I set it up in our room beforehand and I still use it every single day now. And it is the Grow Egg. So this is a colour changing thermometer. There are two models out. I've just got the first model which is this one here, number one. And I got this for £16.99. The second model is a little bit bigger though I believe they do roughly the same thing. And that is £19.99. So this indicates the right temperature suitable for your baby and it is recommended that their bedroom is between 16 to 20 degrees. So I pretty much swear by this to be honest as it's spoken about so much with um, like safe sleeping guidelines that the temperature of the baby's room is really really important so I just make sure that I follow this and that it is always between 16 and 20 degrees. As you can see on the back it has a little table with the different colours that it lights up with and what temperature it is so obviously you're aiming to get it towards the recommended yellow sign and it will also show up if the room is too hot or too cold. I I like this product because it just gives me a peace of mind so when Arlo is asleep in his own room I know that I've set the temperature to the right temperature for him and I know that it will stay that temperature for the whole night. I also really like that it is a night glow so this actually glows in like a nice little light um, depending obviously on what temperature it is but either way it just gives off a nice little glow and it's next to his cot so he can look at it um, and yeah it's just a little bit more comforting for them when they can see a nice little night light like this. So yeah I would definitely recommend getting this. Um, like I said I've used it before having Arlo and the whole time he's like been here as well so I've had this working for over a year and yeah I don't think I'll stop using it anytime soon either. So my second item is this here, it is a vacuum storage bag. So it comes with an electric pump and it comes with three different sizes of plastic wallets which you can put any old baby clothes or any old bedding. Now I did this with Arlo, I've kept everything that he's had and it just keeps it all fresh and sealed and still clean. So when we have baby number two we can obviously get that all out and we've got it all there already for him. So the one that I got was £39.99, now you can definitely get cheaper, I was quite shocked actually when I went back on to see how much I paid for it but it just comes with an electric pump like this which you plug into the wall and it does inhale and exhale so you can deflate it and um, inflate it as well and then I've used quite a few of these but these are the plastic wallets so you plug in the vacuum bit there and um, they fit loads in actually so I've still I've put all of our those things from the whole year away and I've still got loads of boxes left and you come with 12 plastic packages so loads and loads of storage um, I've also used some for mine and Charlie's clothes and bedding and things like that so I would definitely say that these are an essential for if you are wanting to keep any of your baby clothes and things like that nice and fresh 
So my item number three is our angel care monitor. Now we got this when Arlo was around four months old and for me it personally changed our like nighttime routine. Like before we had a monitor I would never leave him on his own in his own room. Whereas as soon as we got this I could see that he was absolutely fine and it just meant that I was able to put him down of an evening and I know that he'd be okay sleeping in his cot. I'd be able to watch him. So I definitely recommend getting a baby monitor. So this is the one that we got like I said it's the angel care one so this is what the monitor head looks like and this is what the camera looks like it has a really good little desk feature here so this stands up on his chest of drawers and it just looks into his cot one of the main things that I really love about this is it has a two-way audio so I can listen to him from his bedroom and I can also press the little microphone button here and I can talk to him through the camera so this was particularly helpful when he was a bit younger as I'd just go shh 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 or like try and like soothe him through the camera and I just found that really really useful and the camera also has a zoom and digital pan so you can actually like move the camera around to like say if he's moved in the cot I can kind of like move the camera so that I can see him better in this so yeah it just works really really well and is really efficient the night vision on this is also really good so you can see everything during the night and this also has a nice little desk thing so I have this standing on our bedside table so I can see it it's chargeable so you don't need to have it plugged in all the time which is what I really like about it too so this was a £149.99 um, you can also buy the angel care monitor which comes with the tracking pad I didn't set that up um, for Arlo as I don't know I just felt quite comfortable without using it I didn't think that I really needed a tracking pad to kind of make me feel more sort of I don't know confident that he was okay you can get it and it lays underneath the baby's mattress and it just tracks their movements and if they don't move for a certain amount of time then it beeps off but knowing me I just think it would probably cause more panic but I don't know you can obviously speak to someone who has maybe used it before um but yeah for me the camera look works absolutely perfectly Now this fourth item was an absolute godsend. I don't have it here with me to show you as our niece is using it at the moment. So this is the Four Mums Mamaru Rocker and it honestly is a godsend. I must start by saying though, it is quite expensive. This was actually given to us as a gift, which is really, really good, um, as it is expensive, like I said. It's £299, so if you are looking to get a rocker or something safe that your baby can lay in, um, I definitely, definitely recommend this one. I obviously haven't got it here in person to show you, but I'll insert some pictures and videos on the screen now so that you can just see what it does and how we used to use it. It has five different unique motions to it and I remember Arlo just loving just sitting in it, swaying around and it was really nice because I could just leave him in there, it left me time to cook lunch and things like that so yeah he really enjoyed being in there. I had things like the Moses basket and things like that which I won't bother with again, there's personally for me no point in getting a Moses basket. Arlo would not settle in a Moses basket whatsoever whereas with this rocker he was just so comfortable in it um, he just lay in it for absolutely ages so that was so handy to have that around and obviously with baby number two and having Arlo I just think I definitely need that the second time round because it's just somewhere safe that the baby can stay whilst I'm having to quickly do things. So the seat is also adjustable so you can recline it back or forward depending on how your baby likes to lay. There's also like a little toy on top which is a distraction and they can kind of look at it and it's like a sensory um, type picture so you can also change it round as one side is black and white and one side is colour. Obviously for the first few months they only see in black and white anyway so you change that round after a little while. And this is suitable from birth up until the baby is nine kilograms or when they can sit up on their own so you do get a good few months use out of it so yeah I'm really looking forward to using that again and my fifth and final item is an absolute must it is our Chico next to me cot so I got on really really well with a next to me cot I know people maybe like to use other things but for me a next to me cot was really really handy our one zipped down at the, at the whole side so we had it right up against our bed and it was like he was sleeping in our bed um, and he got really used to that in the end it did take him a little while to get used to it just because it is such a big space for a newborn baby but after a few sort of like weeks of trying to get him used to being in there he did end up settling in there really well and we also used it for a lot longer than I thought we would I think he was in it for around 
six, seven, eight months. I think it wasn't until then that we started putting him in his larger cot. So like I said, our one was the Chico Next To Me cot, but there are so many other Next To Me cots out there, so it doesn't really matter on the brand, I suppose, but definitely, definitely get yourself a Next To Me cot. Our one was really good because you could just rock it as well, and obviously, like I said, Arlo really liked the motion, so that was always really good. In the night, if he was unsettled, I could just lean over and rock it, and he'd just go back to sleep. Our next to me cot was a hand-me-down from our lovely brother and sister-in-law, Charlie's brother. And that was, I think they got it for around £239.99, um, as that's what it was when I went online to just check. But like I said, there are so many other next to me cots out there. And yeah, just have a look which one suits you and will suit your baby and suit your house, as they do come in other sizes and things like that as well. So that concludes the end of this video. So I just wanted it to be quite quick fire and to get out my top five baby items. Hopefully you really enjoyed this video and you will be looking forward to my next top five video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will see you in the next video.